Hello again YouTube, this is Jay Adley and today I'm going to be doing a review of the new War Z patch which is 1.1.0. Right, let's um, have a walk through on the new features that have been added in the safe zones, that's one that most people have been looking for. I'm currently at Blue Ridge Settlement, which is the north safe zone, and this is the Vault Shop. This is where you can access your global inventory without backing out of the game. And um, it's very good for trading if you traded any items or if you forgot to get food or water because it's 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 quite quick, surprisingly. It's very quick. I like that. Right, that's um, a good plus too. That's the War Z Vault, pretty basic but pretty cool. As you can see, they've now updated the weight system. Um, I've currently got 21.3 kilograms on me but I can still walk and sprint. But it says I've reached my maximum carry weight. Fair enough, okay, strange. That's broken. <laughs> so that's the War Z Vault. Right. One of the next things they've implemented is a bar. And last night when I checked it out, they hadn't didn't have no NPCs inside, but we'll find out now if they still still haven't got any. Otherwise it's a pretty pointless place. Let's have a look inside. Nope, still no NPCs. But the drinks are still ridiculously expensive. They haven't changed the prices of the drink. Right. Um, another thing to comment on while I'm entering the other shop is the lighting. Now, it looks really good. As you can see, the street lamps actually work. Where's the moon? The moon looks a bit better, but the best thing is the sun. Uh, when it rises, because it rises behind them trees. It's, it's really nice. looks really cool. That's, what, um, that's a good feature about the new patch too. His iPhone looks a bit smoother, the game feels like it runs a bit smoother too. Right, this is the general store. This is where you can access the global marketplace in-game while backing out again. Quite nice how it's laid out. But you can't pick up that none of that stuff up, damn it. It's a bad thing. Right, let's access the global store. So it's the same thing as the global inventory, except you can spend your GC and cash in here to buy attachments, food, water, body armor, and that sort of thing. That's another good plus. Good plus for that. Right. Now, let's comment on the new group system that they've implemented. As you can see, I'm currently in a group. How, how you how you create a group is you hit tab, go in the playlist, right click. It would say invite a group if you win in a group. So you'd invite a group and then they'll invite, they'll join your group and Bob's your uncle. Right. So I'm currently in a group with Marty and Puppy. If I go on my map, they show up as little pink men so that's where they are so that's really useful if someone doesn't know where they are or can't tell you where they are because they're getting absolutely their ass is handed to them you can now access it there so that's very good right that's the in-game features that they've now implemented to the game let's have a look at the server or purchase system and see how good that is right let's have a look at the server function so we hit play game my servers we can either rent a stronghold which is currently not implemented or renting a normal game server right let's have a look how much this costs then so of course north america we're not from there because we're cooler we need to switch down to europe but for some strange reason if you look at the gc it costs more to host it in europe very strange you know that's for a month by the way so 8500 for 30 players Let's see if they fix that. And for 50 players, it costs the exact same. <laughs> Beats me. Right, so that costs 8,500. Let's see how much 8,500 costs. By the way, they've increased that because yesterday it was 120, not 125. So they've, every dollar you get an extra five game credits. How nice. Right, it will cost you $56, which is. 40 odd pound, 40, 30 odd pound. Expensive for a month, isn't it? Very expensive. Right, so in total honesty, you wouldn't be paying for the month because it's not worth it. You might as well go for like a six month one, which will cost you a lot more, but it's more value for money. As you can see, there's a 6,000 GC increase. But the one that doesn't make sense to me, the 100 slot six month server, 62,000, which is about $440. It will cost for six months. Split between six, it's around about 30, 30, 40 odd dollars each, which is worth it then. That's very good. But get on this. Let me switch to North American. It decreases by 
10,000 game credits. And 10,000 game credits cost you... Cost you £64. So £64. An extra $64 for living in a different country. Where the currency over here is worth more than a dollar. So either way they're making a lot more money than they would on the Yanks. That's exploitation now. That's not very good. Right, so... The review so far is that the in-game stuff are really good, but the freaking my savings horrendous. Right, we'll have a look through the patch notes now. We've talked about how you can rent a server and all the different options you can choose. We've talked about groups. We've talked about the safe settlements, the vault and general store. I unfortunately don't have them, but it's the new weapons. It's the Mossen rifle, which is the Russian bolt action rifle. If you played Call of Duty 5, it was the Mossen Negat, I think it was called. A very good weapon. They've added the Col 45 1911 pistol, which was a good pistol on, Bla oh, sorry, on Battlefield 3, so hopefully it's good here. And they've introduced the compound crossbow. I have not personally seen that. Let me see if I can just dig up a photo of that. Let me just quickly see if I can get a photo, because I'm hoping it, it's going to look like the one out of The Walking Dead, because that would just be cool. Weapons. No, they haven't updated on the War Z, uh, on the War Z wiki. Cool. No quips if they put the pistol on there. Probably not. That they haven't done the pistol either. No props. The Ruger. Someone's called the Kruger, the Ruger. <laughs> Fair enough. Bit of an error there. Right. Right, let's go back to the patch notes now. Right, they've introduced them three new weapons, which would be really good. They've also increased the amount of new weapon spawns all over the map and made it a lot more lucrative. And there's a lot more stuff. So if you go to a police station, there's a lot more weapons and a can of soda. It's a weapon, do you know what I mean? Something useful. They've increased the zombie spawns, which. If you're in a high loot area, like, I don't know, say, Delta Ranger piece, Delta Ranger Station, you, you nine times out of ten you find a, an attachment and you'd always find an assault rifle. Plus there's also a chance that a sniper spawns. So around there, zombie would be intense. And they already are intense. There'd be a lot more zombies there. So if you see a lot of zombies, there's probably going to be a lot of loot there. Which is a good thing, because that's what they said last time. But when you've killed 20 zombies and walked into this shop, they had nothing there waste of time but it says you should not attempt this on your own you should go with your friends if you don't have no friends unfortunately you're knackered but give it a go anyway it's fun right they've optimized the sand the, sorry, the clan and server browser so i don't know if you used this in the past when you used to click on community it used to take a while to load up but now it's very quick impressive and normally, if you went on clans, then went back to survive, it would crash the game. Well, as you can see, it doesn't no more. <laughs> Woo! Big plus. Big plus to that. They've improved the lighting. We've had a look at that. So, the street lamps now work. Flares look a lot better. Chem lights look a lot better. And do the little glitch where you used to throw, like, a flare or a chem light. And where you're from, it used to light up that area for, like, ten seconds, then light up the other area. doesn't do that no more. Which is good. Right, they've fixed a couple of bugs, too. Which is the most irritating one was the server hopping exploit where when you were joining a server you could do Alt F4 and then join back into the same server and you'd be in the exact same spot as you DC'd originally. While your clip is full, you're not able to reload it. I don't understand. You must completely empty the clip so you'll go more reload. Right? So you've actually got it. If you had 30 rounds and say if you had 10 rounds in but wanted to swap it out because someone else wanted it, you're going to have to shoot them 10 rounds. Waste of ammo. Pointless, I don't understand why they've done that. They fixed the bug with the backpacks, but as you see, they fixed the bug, but made it better for us because now we don't have a max weight. <laughs> Which is amazing. And they fixed an issue where notes will remain invisible after being killed, so if you place the note, you'd be killed. Right, so that is the review of the new patch. Everything looks all well. The only thing that you haven't mentioned about Mr. Z is your anti cheat engine, but you normally like doing that behind closed doors. So hopefully. You fix the anti cheat because the game's getting ridiculous now. And currently, as of this video being uploaded, I'm doing a giveaway on my Twitch account, jhadley1, which is a full access to the War Z for free. All you have to do is subscribe, and as soon as I hit 150 followers, you will get the game, and then it'll go on like 300 followers, you will get a free game again. So it'll just constantly, constantly come on. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, I've been streaming mostly. So if you head over to the Twitch account, I'm always on there. Alright, guys, have a good day, and see you soon. Thanks for watching.